to the road. So here we are stuck in Oklahoma with the same thing happening with the brakes, same axle, other side of the camper. Right. So the guy that did the we're not happy. Okay, so the guy jacks up both wheels to double check to make sure the front one's not locked up too. And it's not! It's just the back one. So it's not a wiring problem. It's a locked up brake problem again, just like we had the day before yesterday. Perfect. This is where we are, Crabtree RV in Alma, Arkansas. Monday, May the, I don't know, 6th, and we decided to drive out. This is the Arkansas River that we're crossing. We decided to drive out to see if we can see Fort Chaffee, because Chuck's dad was stationed there during the Korean War. Um, and our rig is actually getting checked out this morning to see what's wrong with it and what they can do. So we're waiting on a phone call from them to what we're trying to get out and see what we can see anyway. Alright, so this is the entrance that Chuck remembers seeing from pictures. 
and that's one of the guns that daddy had right there. That's cool. RV to check on the camper, see if they have an answer, and to check to see if we're where we're sleeping tonight, because we have no idea, because all of our food, clothes, things to take care of the dogs, everything is in the camper. to see if he can enter. He ain't working on it. There he is. They are working on it. There's a guy. He's getting ready to work on it right now. So maybe, I, maybe I should hang out. Okay. Hang out. Oh, he ain't got it apart yet. Let's let him get it apart. They haven't taken it apart Fuck this whole no. time? No. No. I haven't taken it apart the whole time. Well, we came back to check on the RV and they basically haven't done anything in all the time. We left at 8.30, it is now 2.30 and they're just now crawling underneath it to find out what's going on. But this guy seems to be concentrating on the front axle and the back axle is the problem, so I have no idea. What is he even doing? Thirteen or eight, seven hundred and fifty miles. Oh, he's checking your air pressure. Air pressure don't have anything to do with it. They're right about where they're supposed to be. It wants to be an EVP inside. Okay, now he's doing something with the front wiring. <laughs>
повернуть. Oh, is that fried? Oh, I don't know. It don't look like it's gotten hot. Oh, it has. Oh. See it's all right there? Yeah, it is. It's not on that nut. Oh, yeah. See it? It's in the back like that. So the top thing? Right here. See there's a round thing and that thing is supposed to be behind the round thing. Yeah. See? yeah. Okay. Yeah. Shot language top. All right. So what could cause that to pop out of place? Uh, not being put in place. Oh. Okay. So when they took this thing apart, this top nubby right there was behind the brake shoe circle that goes around. So the guy had to seat it behind that top nubby and that could be what caused the other side that they weren't put together at the factory correctly. However, they're not willing to check the two front axles to make sure they were put together correctly or replace this one because it got hot. So now Chuck's going to talk to them. wouldn't um, cover even though that brake wasn't assembled correctly inside the drum they would not warranty it so Chuck is paying yet again to replace that um, brake the shoes and stuff the inner guts of it Chuck, because the other side's new he wants this side to be new too and they did check the passenger side front axle um, and it was assembled correctly so our theory is that the back axle when it was assembled at Dexter whoever was assembling the back axle did not put the brake assembly together properly and that's what made that one disintegrate because if it was like the one on this side that would happen so but since the front axle uh, seemed to be okay I don't think we're checking this side so we will see what happens and we have to camp here in front of their bay for the night so That'll be fun. <laughs> 